All right, so my lecture review is when will we find ET and what happens if we do by Seth Showstack. And this was given at Georgia Tech on September 24th, 2018. All right, so the main idea of this lecture is discussing the fact that if intelligent, you know, if intelligent extraterrestrial life is found, it will most likely be in the form of some synthetic intelligence, so like an artificial intelligence. Now, the speaker focuses his research on intelligent life. There's also something else called microbial life, and this is what a lot of the research like by NASA or like the European or Japanese space agencies do. So basically, they're interested in finding microbial life, and microbial life is most likely to be found within the solar system. You know, that's where they're looking, and they're looking at Mars, because Mars has methane and ancient water lakes underground that could have supported life, or other, you know, moons and uh, small planets, such as the Eucalades geysers in, I forget what, like, like Neptune or something. But basically, the author focuses himself on intelligent life. So, in order to find intelligent life, the the speaker emphasizes the fact that we're gonna need you know more advanced computers so we can process more um sort of more waves coming in so the way it works is that we're scanning the universe for signals more specifically radio signals because that's what they believe it you know would be the first type of signal to send out since we humans discovered radio signals first. We're looking at mainly radio signals, so we want to cover as much ground as possible. And in order to do that, uh, in order to cover all the signals or all the possible channels and places we can receive signals, we need advanced computers. So the speaker emphasizes that because we need better computers. That is the only way that we're going to find the aliens or intelligent life if there is so however computers or processing power has grown exponentially and it continues to grow exponentially and so because of this exponential growth in computing processing power the speaker believes that within two to three decades so 20 to 30 years we will most likely if any time we'll be able to find you know intelligent life now I'll cover this in a later uh, topic in the physics slide, but you know, once we discover um, intelligent life, you know, if it is discovered, it will most likely be impossible for us to actually reach it, just because it'll be so far away. We have no amount of, you know, energy. It would take a lot of time to get there. So even if we discover it, it would still be hard to actually physically contact whatever we find. So furthermore, just a couple of other points that he says is that the aliens, if we find them, have to be more advanced than us to, in order to create technology to even send out the signals and have to be, you know, just if, yeah, as developed or if not more developed. Basically, they have to be able to develop tools to build, you know, transponders that can send uh, transmissions, you know, they can send the signals. Uh, and in order to develop tools, they have to have developed other tools before that and be able to like grasp tools or anything. So if aliens look, you know, what what might aliens look like? They might look something like, not exactly like us, but they will have to perform tasks that we do. So in a way, you know, they'll have to somehow have some of our qualities. Obviously there's a couple of other theories and um, you know, the speakers discusses these briefly. First is that the aliens already discovered us. They're just not interested because we're very primate compared to them. Um, another way that we could find aliens is by looking at corralled stars. You know, you could do research on your own, but basically what this is, is that since the universe expands, eventually all stars will die out. So we need the energy from the stars and like the light and things like that. So the aliens will try to corral those stars. So where the stars will be corralled is where the aliens are or the aliens just simply don't exist in our range of discoverability, which could be true. Now, the main physics concepts, there's two of them. First of all, is the signals. So we want, we're dealing with electromagnetic waves. 
we're looking for most specifically radio waves, right? So um, obviously there's UV, there's other types of waves, but we're looking for radio waves. And there's a big problem with energy. Now, it is discussed that even if we find, you know, extraterrestrial life, it is very unlikely that we will actually come in contact with it because we lack the energy to travel such a distance and such an amount of time, you know. They might be millions of light years away or just hundreds of light years away, even dozens. And just traveling that distance will be very, very, you know, hard. And I don't think that it is possible for us due to, you know, the fact that we can only travel so fast because of mass and the aliens, you know, as well. So that was basically the talk. I think it's super interesting. You know, there's a lot of very interesting concepts that I learned, more specifically just the fact that, like, if we do meet an alien, it might just be a super advanced AI that the actual aliens created. And so we'll be meeting the aliens, but through an AI. And also just the fact that we will probably never be able to actually interact physically with, you know, an alien race. But other than that, it was such a great lecture, and it was really fun watching it.